What's up, Fondy? I'm Tanner. I'm Nathan, and we're taking over Cardinal TV today. Recently, we've been checking up on current events going around Fondy. We had the honors of checking in on girls' basketball. We asked them what they were looking forward to this coming season, and this is what they had to say. Great job, girls, and we wish you guys the best of luck this season. Now, let's check up with Swim and Wrestling. What's up, Fondy? It's Rachel from Cardinal TV, and today we're talking about Fondy Wrestling and their upcoming season. Wrestling practices start on Monday, November 15th, and will be every day after school from 345 to 545 for the rest of the season. There's a new coach this year, but with 30 plus years of wrestling experience and 14 years of coaching experience, he is confident it'll be a good season. And I think, you know, as soon as everybody buys into the system, um, winning will just take care of itself. I wrestle because, I mean, it's the hardest sport and it takes a lot of drive and effort. So, yeah, and I have a lot of fun doing it, so. Because I feel empowered when I do it. Uh, it's fun and it helps me with football. Favorite thing about wrestling is uh, twofold. One that it is one on one, and it's, it's very uh, it's a raw sport. Um, it's one person against another person, but then at the same time, there's a team score, and you need a team in order to get one individual better. You know, if one person wants to be a state champion, national champion, uh, it's it's all on them, and they can do that. But again, it's all on them, and with help from their teammates. And with that, each wrestler has their own goals for the year. Just to perform better than I did last year and perhaps like make it to sections and regionals and all those other tournaments. Be conditioned. Possibly making it um, to like pretty high up in conference. My goal is to make state. Win. Wait. Winning state. Each of the wrestlers are excited for different aspects of the upcoming season. Being able to wrestle varsity matches and actually being able to contend with them. The new coach are bringing new skills. Probably just some eights. St. Norman's big booty. <laughs> Winning state. <laughs> we got different priorities. <laughs> if you are still interested in joining wrestling, contact Coach Eswa. I hope many girls do come to wrestle. I ain't gonna lie to you. No, I, uh, I'll definitely. Oh, no, no, not definitely. <laughs> this has been Rachel Cook from Cardinal TV. Saturday, November 6th, the girls' JV swim team swam at Fond du Lac Aquatic Center for sectionals, and they showed their amazing skills. I swam all four years of high school and swam for about three years out of high school when I was younger. Nine years. Here we also have a manager who helps the swimmers and coaches. Uh, so mostly I, do is, I really help whatever the coaches need. I, just, I do it there. So, like, today I'm taking sports, but other days I'm like, I'm okay, you know, results and everything. So. Then the swimmers also share about their greatest achievements. 
when I made the sexualized team. Um, well, today I swam a 25-7, and I've been working for that all year in the individual race, so that was really nice. The JV girls swim team has displayed their incredible swimming expertise and chilling skills. That's all for now. This is Alicia with Carnal TV. Thank you, Swim and Wrestling. We wish you guys the best of luck this season. And next, we had a school musical and symphony concert that we looked into. Let's check it out. During the FHS Theater's 2021 production of The Wizard of Oz, the cast members practiced tirelessly on their lines, choreography, and solos. I'd be chasing pigs all the day. Sense or no sense, it just don't seem right. The production required multiple components that all came together to create a fun experience for both the audience and cast members. My favorite part is probably all the people that are in it and like all the energy when we're on stage and stuff. Everybody just gets really hyped up and it's super fun. Um, my favorite memory was probably the Saturday run through because it was the first time we went through the entire show and it was like so different. It was like the whole thing was just so cool and it was really great to experience that. Uh, I run basically everything backstage, moving everything, and I get on a headset with Wilson and Jamie on the other side of the stage who runs all the lines and stuff and makes sure everything goes smoothly. Um, my main part is a like, part of a tornado, so we have to wear like all black and like black ninja masks, I guess, and we have to spin around <laughs> and then we have to hold animals in the air and pretend there's a tornado. All in all, the students' hard work resulted in a fantastic and memorable show. Choreography rehearsals have been a lot of fun. And just getting to, like, I don't know, be around my friends. This is Emerson Valsing from Cardinal TV. All of the young musicians at Final Lake High School are preparing for their first concert of the year. With four different pieces of music, the symphony band director, Jacob Opperman, is very excited and hopeful of a good turnout. Anything is going to be an improvement from last year, so we're really hoping for, for just that. Families to come and enjoy themselves, listen to an evening of great concert music, and celebrate that hard work. The fall band concert this year isn't just the first concert, it's also the first time the band gets to play in front of a larger crowd since COVID. The fall band concert is a, a culmination of our work from the beginning of the school year in, con in symphony band all the way up to our performance right now, where we're at. It's kind of a, a snapshot of our growth from the beginning of the school year, coming off of a summer of maybe not practicing as much as some people should, to now where we're practicing and, and working really hard and putting together this program. So it's kind of a culmination of, of our work since the beginning of the school year. This was Jenna Gonlick with Cardinal TV. Great performances in both the school musical and symphony concert. Unfortunately, that's all we have for you guys in this episode of Cardinal TV, but remember to like and subscribe. Peace out.